Wholesaling real estate in the next recession. Hey yo, what is going on everyone? Devin can up here back at you with a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about wholesaling real estate or getting into real estate with no money down, no credit, anything like that, when the next sort of like bubble pops or whatever. Everybody has these Satanistic views that, hey, the real estate market's gonna close this year. Oh, it didn't happen this year. Oh, well, the houses are they just keep increasing in prices, so it's gonna happen next year. And you just keep hearing this pattern over and over again, but we all know eventually something's gonna happen, whether it be in 2020, which is what I keep hearing a lot of people saying, and then I keep seeing like all these videos, Toronto's bubble just popped and all these different things. And then I hear other people like, oh, it's not gonna happen. And I just hear it everywhere, like Gary Vaynerchuk, different business partners that have been in real estate for a long time. I've, I've heard from a lot of people that there's gonna be the next big depression happening. And people just love to dramatize the news and the media saying that something bad is gonna happen just because people love negativity. And that's what I've learned personally as well. But either way, at the end of the day, we know something's gonna happen. Now, how do we make money through real estate wholesaling in the next sort of cycle as far as the as far as the market goes and everything. So with this happening, like really honestly, truly, truthfully, I think there's gonna be a lot of people that are going to drop out of the real estate wholesaling business. So a lot of people, they're just gonna be having trouble trying to find a job, so less people are willing to put money out there, and people are gonna be willing to take less risks. What with this, there's gonna be a lot of houses out there that are gonna be available that are going to need to be able to be flipped in some sort of way. Like people need to unload these houses. There's gonna be a lot of motivated sellers. There's gonna be a lot of deeply discounted prices. And what the luxury of real estate wholesaling is, is something goes south, then we don't get in trouble for it. Like we're not hold accountable to buying any properties. We're not hold accountable to what the house, the price of the house is worth or anything like that. All that we have to do is once we get a, a property under contract, we push it out there and see if there's a buyer willing to purchase this property. Now with this, as the market starts to drop and home values start to go down, there's gonna be a lot of sellers out there that are just gonna be like, they wanna sell their house, but they're not willing to sell it at the discount of what it's needed to be. But with this, there's gonna be, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of fluff and there's gonna be a lot of people like, I want to, I need to sell my house because the market's starting to drop and I lost so much value in it and there's gonna be a lot of underwater homes and there's gonna be a lot of these different scenarios and there's gonna be a lot of people that aren't willing to let go of their property. Now, how do we work with these sellers? How do we figure out their situation? So with this, I think there's gonna be a lot of short sales and bank owned property sales that are gonna be happening. So as with any business, you're going to need to adapt. So I highly recommend learning how to wholesale houses and going out there and wholesaling right now. And in the future, when all these short sales pop up and all these different deals start to go on, just have this income that's available so that way either you can just try to find more short sales or try to wholesale all these houses that are gonna be extremely discounted and try to push them out. You're gonna have a lot smaller of a buyer's list that's willing to buy properties because a lot of people are like, oh, it's not low enough, it's not low enough, the market's not low enough, it's gonna keep dropping. And there's gonna be a lot of these like naysayers and then they, the market starts to go up and they're just like, oh, the home prices are just too high now. Why would I buy these properties? So you're gonna to need to find some solid buyers in your area as is right now that are just planted for the long term. They buy these properties and hold them on for more than seven years. They're just trying to build up their portfolio and they don't care about the short term, term gains and losses as far as the market is going and they'd rather just have a lot of volume that's able to generate cash flow versus what the price of the home is worth. As long as they have cash flow going in through these properties, they really don't care about the long-term growth. So finding these buyers is gonna be very vital, vital as these buyers are gonna be worth a lot of money. There's gonna be a lot of deals out there, and if you can be the center of all of these deals, then everybody's gonna to wanna to go to you for these wholesale deals or for these deeply discounted properties. So you wanna have this buyer list build up the connections now so that way when this starts to drop, you know who to go to and be the one that they have to go to to be able to pick up these properties rather than easily just putting themselves out there and finding these properties themselves because it's gonna be super convenient for themselves to be able to pick up these different properties. Now with this as well, um, like I said, there's gonna be a lot less people doing this business so really, the difference that I feel like is gonna happen, because I didn't personally wholesale houses in the last recession, so I don't 
personally know. I was too young at the time to even know what real estate wholesaling was or getting into real estate. I think I was like 12 years old or 10 years old or something like that. And so now kind of looking back at it, I think what's going to happen is a lot of these deals, there's going to be more volume versus closing bigger deals. So you're probably going to see a lot of wholesalers closing a lot of deals that are just only paying out like $5,000 versus a lot of 10, 20, $50,000 deals. And so there's going to be a lot more volume. And with that, there's going to be more work, but there's going to be a lot more of these deals that are going on. There's going to be a lot more volume that you're going to be able to wholesale. So for you right now, trying to get into the business or just trying to get in real estate or with the soon to come market crash, whenever that happens, we have no idea when it's going to happen. Who knows? Maybe something, something changes in office or like just we were able to fix it and just investors as soon as the market starts dropping they all put the pour their money into the business because they know what's best for them as far as history goes but we all know something's going to eventually happen i highly recommend that you just start getting into the business now especially if you have a little bit of cash to spare to be able to just start learning the business putting yourself out there giving yourself opportunities to go out there and wholesale houses at the moment and then with this as the market starts to crash you already have your relationship in the business you have your network you've been able to go out there and close deals and then literally you can just keep putting yourself out there to go help more and more people like i said there's gonna be more volume there's gonna be your phones are gonna be blown off the hook the marketing is gonna be a lot cheaper but you want to set yourself apart from all the investors and be the company that's out there consistently finding these deeply discounted kind of properties that the numbers still work there's always going to be people that are just willing to sell their house at a deep discount and obviously kind of the transition is going to be a hard point but if you can put yourself out there now and start doing deals over time there's always going to be motivated sellers in any sort of market but as time goes on and after people start to realize hey this is kind of what it is right now and i'm low on money right now i have a lot of equity in this property but i need to get rid of it quickly or else i'm not going to be able to eat next week you can be there for service as service for these types of people and you can help these types of people out. Obviously, there's a lot less of these discount properties, but they're gonna start popping up literally everywhere, and you want to be in the, in the forefront of these wholesale deals. So really what you can do, like I said, just go out there and start learning the business right now. Build up your income right now as soon as, like, as soon as you can, and then when the job market starts to slow down and there's a lot less jobs out there available, you have this hustle that you've been building up and you can just go into it full time versus trying to start something up when it just all of a sudden starts to go south and you are relying on your nine to five and then once you put out kicked out to the curb and you have no income coming in, it's gonna be extremely difficult to get started into this business. Now, I know a lot of people say just try to save up as much money as possible and pass, out, pass up on a lot of opportunities right now until the market crashes, but to be honest with you guys, I highly recommend just building up that cash flow right now as soon as possible while everything's going good so that way you have the money available in case something happens everything's going to be at a discount at that point it's going to be a feeding frenzy for those that have saved up money not too many people out there have the capital to be able to do so so if you have a little bit of money right now i recommend getting into the wholesaling business build up money very quickly because you can make money in this business super quickly if you go out there and close just a few deals like i said like we usually make ten thousand dollars per deal i know a lot of other people like even if you just made five thousand dollars and had a couple of deals go through that were just five thousand dollars let's say that you have 15 grand 15 grand is going to be a lot worth a lot more in the downturn of a market versus what it is right now so if you can build up that capital as soon as possible then you're gonna it's gonna be in your own best interest so that's just my recommendation just get into the business as soon as possible don't give yourself any excuses i know there's gonna be a lot of people out there that are just like oh i'm gonna wait till like to get into the business until the market starts to go downhill or oh i'm gonna wait till the business is like until it's like an even market or there's gonna be all these different excuses and honestly there really is no no perfect time to get into it the perfect time to get into it is right now go out there take action make mistakes learn right now learn all those lessons that beginners make as soon as possible so that way they're behind your back they're behind your shoulder you don't have to run into them anymore because the more failures that you run into the less failures that you're going to be running into in the future because if you get into that same scenario that same situation you will know the right answer but the only way to do that is by putting yourself out there and giving your uh, yourself the opportunity to learn these lessons learn these skills because those that have already built up the up these skills and have learned these lessons and have gone through the last recession and 
all made all these mistakes they know what to do now and in case this this scenario happens again they can look back and say hey i did this last time let's not do this last time let's not over leverage let's not do this let's not do that and this time we're going to do it right so if you can make those mistakes now go out there take action and then when it starts to go downhill whenever it does if it's next year if it's in the next five years if it's in the next 10 years you will at least have that experience and knowledge on how to go out there and close a deal no matter what the market is. So anyways, that's what I got for you guys. If you want to learn how to get into real estate wholesaling right now, check out the links down in the description down below. I have my real estate wholesaling ASAP course and that's actually kind of what funds me doing it and being able to do these YouTube videos and giving these advice and giving these knowledge. So if you wanna jump on the phone with me, get on a personal one-on-one -on -one call, figuring out what the best strategy is for you, 30 minutes, Check it out down below. We can jump on the phone, figure out what the best marketing strategy is right away for you to go out there and close a deal as soon as possible. If you wanna be like Tyler that closes a deal in two weeks, sign up, we'll get you hooked up. And as long as you put in the work, I will give you my best foot forward to be able to help you go out there and close a deal. So anyways, if you made it to this point and you haven't already, join the fam, join the gang by hitting the subscribe button down below, smash the like button if you haven't already. And like always, I'm uploading every day. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.